How much butter? We have two cups of butter softened that I've just beat a little bit here just to get it started. And we're going to add two cups of brown sugar. We've got two cups of butter. And this is a double recipe because my thought is if you're going to make cookies, you might as well make cookies. And we're going to add two cups of brown sugar packed. So there's one. And a half. brown sugar. We're just going to let that blend together. that cream together well and we're going to add four eggs one at a time just want them to mix in a little bit all four eggs mixed in. If you notice it'll look a little curdled, that's fine. It will smooth out. And we're going to add two packages of instant vanilla pudding powder. And they're the 3.4 ounce packages. They're more or less that mixed in good. And we're going to add two teaspoons of baking powder and two teaspoons of baking soda. And because we really like cinnamon, we're going to use two heaping teaspoons of cinnamon. Yeah. And I've used as many as three before. And we're going to add a generous teaspoon of vanilla. We'll get that mixed together. Shovel and scraped some of the deck so we can get the grill out. We're gonna do some sacrificial lamb chops tonight. Now we're gonna to 
we're going to add in two cups of flour. Because this is such a large recipe, we need to transfer to a bigger bowl to add the rest of the ingredients. Now for the add-ins, you can pretty much add anything you like. I like to add about a cup or so of raisins. We add some dried apple. And again, a lot of this is by how much you like. You can add a cup, a little, maybe a cup and a half of some dried apple bits. And as I said, we really like cinnamon, so I add little cinnamon chips. These are mini chips, so we like to go, they pretty well dissolve into the cookie, so we add a lot of them. And nuts as well. You can add coconut, you can add chocolate chips, you can add any kind of chips that you like. I'll add a couple of cups of nuts and we'll mix these in before we add the oatmeal itself. Now everything's mixed in. We're going to add the oatmeal and you'll see why we switched to the bigger bowl. It's going to take about seven cups of oatmeal and I just add them one at a time. I like the old fashioned oats because I think it makes it chewier but you can use the quick oats. As you see, that makes a very stiff dough. And about the easiest way to mix that is to use your hands. Just get in there and knead it all together because it takes a lot of mixing with a spoon. As I said, this dough's a little stiff, so the easiest way is to use the hands. Just take a glob and I use just kind of a heaping tablespoon. Shape it out. You want to flatten it a little bit because it doesn't flatten much on the cookie sheet. Um, I like to use parchment paper. If one, it's easier clean up. Two, the cookies don't stick. And you're going to bake at 350 for about 10 minutes. These come out a little on the chewy side. If you like yours a little crisper, you can bake them an extra minute or two and they'll be a little more crispy. Got one sheet ready to go. And we'll just get the other sheet ready. And it's ready to go in the oven. And give them about 10 minutes. We're done at 10 minutes. Bring them out. Let them cool on the sheet for a couple of minutes and then we'll slide them off. If you want, you can slide the whole parchment paper off and get another sheet, but I reuse it, so I just slide them right off. And they come off easily. They're still pretty soft, but they'll firm up as they cool. Now, at this size, you'll get with a double batch probably around five dozen <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. yep 